Welcome back for another tutorial. Today I will show you how to set up 3 point lighting in Blender. I already have a model I made in ZBrush that I follow uh, Folygon's awesome Pokemon louder tutorial that you can find in his YouTube channel. I will put the link in the description below. To get started, we will add a ground plane by pressing Shift A and add a plane. Now we need to create the backdrop, so just uh, press tab and go to edit mode, select the, the edge, and then press E to extrude along the Z axis. We don't want a, a sharp scene in the background, so uh, select the edge and press Ctrl B and use the middle mouse uh, scroll wheel to add division to round the corner up. To get rid of the facet in the rounded corner area without um, using subdivide, we will go back to the object mode and then right click the uh, backdrop and then select shade smooth. And now go to the material properties. Um, just add a new material um, that we're going to use for the backdrop. So now just hover over to the, um, the camera view and then activate the uh, render display. Since we don't have a light right now, uh, just uh, press Shift A to add a light. Uh, what I use is a uh, area light. So I just move the light above the, the ground and then kind of place it in a three quarter angle. Um, so the trick is to press Shift T. Um, so that can help you um, move the light target towards the, uh, the subject. And now we will increase the power of the light. Just put it around like 5,000 watts so you can actually see it on the left uh, camera view uh, what it looks like so now I will split the view into two um, you can kind of view the light source uh, in a top view and then also uh, from the side profile Also, instead of using a square shape, I will change it to rectangle and then also increase the, the size to make, it, uh, to make the light source bigger so it will uh, produce a soft, uh, softer uh, shadow. Now we have the key light pretty much set up. Uh, we can make a duplication as a, a fill light by pressing Shift D and then just simply rotate it uh, point towards the subject. So you can kind of see from the top view, the field light is kind of just up opposite side of the key light. And here I will just uh, lower the power intensity to 3000 watts and then just play around with the size. You can see when I lower the, uh, the light source um, size, uh, the, the, the shadow will be more harsh. Here I just go to the output property, just uh, lower the default uh, rendering resolution so we can make some uh, uh, renders later just for, so it's a uh, quarter of a size will be a lot faster. Now we have two lights pretty much set up and then uh, now we can uh, make a, a, a ring light just again uh, by select one of the light and then shift D and make a duplication. Since um, I don't want the, the ring light to actually affecting the backdrop, I will change the light type to uh, from area to spot so it won't um, have any spill uh, to the backdrop. Just continue play around with the placement and the um, angle of the light. Um, you can see I try to get the ring light happen to show up in the top of the head. And again, I point the light a little bit upward so to avoid casting any very uh, strong, harsh uh, shadow in the front. Usually the ring light um, 
output power should be a lot stronger than the rest of the light. So I change it from 3000 to 30,000 watts. Again, just play around with um, the, the placement um, just to get the try to get the result you want. You can kind of see the preview in the camera perspective view. Here I move the backdrop forward a little bit so uh, the background uh, shows up a little bit brighter. I pretty much get the look I want so just press F2 to do a test render. looks pretty decent so um, you can go to the upper right corner and then change the slot to something different and then make some adjustment and then uh, render again so you can actually switch between two different well multiple different renders and compare them that later so from here on pretty much just play around the placement uh, the color and the output power of the light Since we save two different render in two different slot, now you can just kind of uh, switch between and then find the one you like. And then uh, once you decide, just uh, increase the resolution of the final render and then uh, pretty much render out the final result. If you found this tutorial useful, please press like, share, and subscribe for more. Thank you.